Okay, so uh, wonderful. Um, welcome to this. Uh, welcome to this um, webinar today, where we are going to talk about the lactic acid. So we were just uh, talking a little bit about the company, and I was saying that we have products for all skin types, so for all conditions, and that we say that our line is a compact line because you know these products that I have here to my right side. We do the miracles with these products. It's like they are like 42, 43 products that we have. And because of that, it's very easy to learn about the product and know how to work with it. You can be working with the best line, you know, the more scientific line, the line that you have uh, more active ingredients. But if you don't know how to work with the line, how to use the products in the different steps of the protocols, uh, of course, you you know you are not going to obtain the best benefits of the line. That's why we are always teaching because we really believe that if you grow, you know, knowing our line, uh, of course, you are going to obtain better benefits. You are going to have more satisfied clients. You are going to grow, and we are going to grow at the same time. So we say this is a company when we grow all together, right? Uh, our products are part of and free, no animal tested, and we have a strong passion for education. We are always, you know, offering uh, education with the use of our products. Another very good thing is that we have a complete chemical pills line. We have the mandelic acid, the lactic acid, the glycolic acid, acid 30%, glycolic acid 40%, and the salicylic acid, right? Um, our line can be used in a day spa or it could be used as well in a medical spa. So is uh, is the line, you know, is a, is a very complete line. Another wonderful thing is that if you have um, experience with application of chemical pills, then you can customize your treatments, okay? Because our chemical pills are direct chemical pills. Now, if you don't have enough experience, then what you can do is to mix the derma scrub with uh, some drops of our chemical pills. For example, let's say you want to work in a person with some damage in the skin, so then you would get the derma scrub and you would mix it with three or five um, drops of the lactic acid. You apply it to the face of your client. You are going to do a little massage, okay? Always uh, when you're going to uh, activate the scrub, make sure that you do not activate the scrub like this. Make sure you activate the scrub doing little circles, okay, from the center to the, to, from the inside to the outside of the face. Always work in your treatments from inside to outside because that's the direction, you know, uh, horizontal and that's the direction of the Langerhans lines, which are the invisible lines of the immune system, okay? So you are going to do little circles, activating, massaging the derma scrub. And you can do that for one minute. When you massage our scrub for one minute, the result in the skin is like if you have made um, a microdermabrasion. Okay, that's the, that's the result when, that's the effect in the skin. And it's gonna be polished, it's gonna be, uh, you know, like uh, glowing, brightened. That's gonna be the effect after you remove that scrub uh, from the skin, okay? so. Uh, social media is very important that you have the account for your business in social media. And uh, we have the, you can follow us in Instagram. We are very active in Instagram. You are going to find us there as Dermasuisse underscore pro. Dermasuisse underscore pro. As well, you are going to find us as Dermasuisse Institute. That's the account for our institute where we teach the classes to get a skincare uh, license, skincare specialist license for Florida State. And as well, we have the other account for the retail clients, you know, for the end client, which is a German Swiss, is only uh, that uh, word, German Swiss. Okay, so let's start talking about the lactic acid. So I don't know if, uh, you know, sometimes uh, you have gone through this when you do, for example, exercise, you go and you do exercises, and uh, after one or after two days, you have a big pain in your muscles. That pain occurs because uh, when we do um, extra exercise or we are not used to do exercise and we do too much, 
there is a process of the breathing, you know, the, the respiration and the breathing in the cells. So it's, it's kind of a lack of oxygen. So when that happens in the muscles, in the cells of, of the muscles, the muscles are going to be recovered, uh, are going to be covered, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm sorry. Are, they are going to be covered with lactic acid. So that's why when you have that pain, the best to do, the best thing to do is you do a massage, you do a massage to remove that lactic acid from the top of your muscles. And then, you know, you are not going to be feeling that pain. So the lactic acid is something that happens normally and naturally in our body. That's why it's going to be um, the chemical pill that is going to uh, create less reactions. Um, not to say that you cannot find reactions with the lactic acid. Yes, you can burn the skin. Yes, you could have a frosting. Yes, uh, you, you could have you know, a damage in the skin, but not usually by allergic reaction because um, you, know, there is, there, you have it. We all have it naturally in our body. Okay, so the lactic acid is an alpha hydroxy acid. That means that it is a chemical pill that is going to be soluble in water, is water soluble. The only chemical pill that we use, you know, and is oil soluble is the salicylic acid. So that means that the salicylic acid penetrates easier through the oil. Lactic acid penetrates easier through the water, okay? And so. Uh, the lactic acid is a chemical pill that is going to be always, as any chemical pill, is going to have the first function. The first function is going to be exfoliation. Remember, all the chemical pills, the best, the first function, the first effect is going to be the removal of uh, dead cells of the skin. Okay, that's going to be the first. That's going to be the first effect. And after that effect, all the chemical pills, by nature, they will have different effects. You know, I always say to students, oh, think about the chemical pills like they are, they are personalities, you know, different personalities. So today we are going to, we are going to meet up Mr. Lactic Acid. By nature, every substance in the nature is going to have different, um, a different weight of action, you know. Okay, so the lactic acid is going to be that chemical pill that is going to activate the production of, it's going to stimulate the production of collagen in the dermis. That's why it's going to, thick, it's going to thicken the dermis. As well, it's going to thicken the epidermis. That's why it's so good for wrinkles, okay? Now, the lactic acid is the one that um, the lactic acid is the one that is going to be the most hydrating of all the chemical pills. So if you really think about, for example, mandelic, when you apply the mandelic, the third, the fourth day after the application, you are going to find a micro desquamation in the client. When you apply the glycolic as well, the glycolic um, under 10% under is going to be hydrating, over 10% is going to do an exfoliation effect. So usually you are going to find that it's going to tight a little bit, it's going to dry a little bit the skin. Salicylic, don't, not, 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 even, not even mention it. The salicylic is going to be really drying, okay, uh, because it takes all the oil from the skin. But when you talk about the, the lactic acid, the lactic is going to help hydrate the skin. It's very hydrating. That's why when you have these clients with, with mature skin and really dry skin and dehydrated skin, wrinkles, your chemical pill is going to be the lactic acid. The lactic acid is going to do wonders as well for blemishes. We, in Derma Suisse, we recommend it for corporal hyperpigmentation. This is the chemical pill that we are going to use for the hyperpigmentation underarm. This is the chemical pill that we are going to use for hyperpigmentation in the groin, you know, between the legs. Uh, there are people that have done the, 
that have done the, the protocol. I am going to give you a little ahead. I'm going to give you the protocol. And then they have done the, the protocol a little bit more in the center, okay, between the legs, not applying in mucose, okay? In the mucose, you never are going to apply the chemical pills, our chemical pills at least. And they have had a wonderful results with that, okay? Now, we need to have a, a, a care, we need to be careful with the application of the lactic acid because this is the one that is going to give the skin the more, the most photosensitivity. Okay? The skin after a lactic acid is going to be too sensitive to the sun or ultraviolet rays, okay? That means that if you have a client that you are not sure is going to be following um, the, the care at home after the application of the chemical pill and they are going to be taking song any, any ways and they are going to be, you know, not applying the sun protection, you should not apply the lactic acid because they can get hyperpigmentation in their, in the skin. Okay. The skin is going to be non-protected. It's going to be non-protected and you really need to be, uh, to avoid the, the direct exposure to the sun and you need, you know, to apply the sun protection um, every single day. Okay. So we have more people, more, more people. We have Anna Masukbol. Anna, I haven't seen you before. Elena Mumper. Uh, welcome, you know, uh, Luz Galindo, Rocio Valdez, Sonia White, Siome. I think they uh, they got entered, they got into the, the seminar after we started. Okay, okay, wonderful. So now we are going to be going one by one by the protocols that we, as Derma Swiss, recommend. I'm I'm going to do my recommendations on how to use the lactic acid. Okay, so. For the Derma Swiss lactic acid, uh, you are going to leave it in the skin for no more than three minutes in the face. Okay, so remember when you're applying the lactic acid in the face, you are going to leave it for no more than three minutes. Now, if you are working in the body, that's another complete, uh, it's a whole different story. You could leave it for five minutes, you could leave it, you could leave for eight or 10 minutes, depending of the, depending on the, the Fitzpatrick's. Uh, the Fitzpatrick of the client that you are that you are doing right okay so I have here Elena Mober uh, is more as, asking me how long do you have to stay away from the sun okay Elena that's a very good question when you apply any chemical pill directly to the skin and you are you know you are removing these dead cells from the skin um you need to be, you, you are damaging the barrier function, you know, you are damaging that protection that we all have in the, in, in the skin. So you need to be away from the sun for 18 to 21 days because that's the amount of time that the skin takes to recover the epithelium, okay? So between, it, it's gonna be between two to three weeks uh, away from the sun, I would recommend, you know, direct exposition. Uh, to the song. I have here another question. Alexa, do we receive or are we going to receive any material for this class? No, Alexa, for the webinars, we do not give material. So what you can do is take a picture um, of the different um, slides. When I go passing the slides, you can take picture of the slides so you can have you know a little bit more. So you can study later. I am going to put you again the, the slide of the lactic acid in case any of you wants to have uh, this information so you can see it later. Okay, so remember for sun damage, let's, let's talk about sun damage, okay? Sun damage is not the person that went this last weekend to the, to the beach and got, and got, you know, the, the sun burn in the skin is not, sun damage is not that. Sun damage is the effect that you are going to see in the skin after many, many years of direct exposure to the sun, uh, ultraviolet rays, you know, people that used to go to the beach when they were young every weekend and, you know, put in the beach, with Coca-Cola, with carrot, with baby oil to tan their skin. 
people that live near beaches, near lakes, near um, rivers, and they usually go out and take sun all the time. People that work under the sun, you know, um, after 40 years old, after 35, 40 years old, this uh, sun damage is going to appear very fast. It's going to start appearing in the skin, showing the skin is going to start showing that damage, okay? And you are going to see that, as you can see in the slide we have there, a lot of hyperpigmentation and hypopigmentation. So you are going to see this like umbrella in the top of the cheeks, you know, it's going to be like an umbrella of little blemishes, dark blemishes and white blemishes. And when you see that in a person, this is sun damage, okay? You are going to see it in the forehead. Sometimes you can see some of them in the nose and as well here, you know, uh, in the sides of the face. Another thing that you need to have in mind is that in order to confirm if a person has sun damage, you can always see their decollete, okay? And you can always see the shoulders, the top of the shoulders and the outer side of the arms. Uh, when you see that, you are going to see more hyperpigmentation there so you can confirm that is, it is sun damage. Uh, you can always, of course, ask the client, hey, when you were young, do you use to take too much sun? And usually the client is going to is going to confirm you that. Okay, so for sun damage, all the chemical pills are going to be good. You know, a mandelic acid with a brightening, illuminating treatment protocol from dermatitis is going to be good. You could do um, radiant C protocol. Um, the radiant C protocol with a glycolic acid is going to be very good for sun damage as well. Um, you know, all the chemical pills are going to be good for the sun damage, but the lactic acid is going to be wonderful for sun damage, okay? So we use the lactic acid, we have a treatment which is called nourishing anti-aging, okay? And the nourishing anti-aging is a treatment where we focus in hydration of the skin, but at the same time, we are going to work with the Derma C, which is our serum with vitamin C. It's a very strong antioxidant serum. And uh, we are going to work as well with the Supreme Night Cream to hydrate the skin. And we are going to work with the lactic acid, applying it directly in the skin. Okay, so when you have a, a client with sun damage, you can do any of these treatments. You know, the recovery antioxidant, you are going to use the lactic acid, but not directly in the skin. Now, if you could, if you want to do a variation of the recovery antioxidant master protocol, you could do it. And instead of mixing the derma scrub with some drops of the lactic acid, you could apply the lactic acid directly to the skin, okay? With a recovery antioxidant treatment. And for this skin type as well, the Radiant C, the protocol Radiant C with the glycolic acid is gonna be very good is a wonderful protocol. Um, actually, the nourishing anti-aging, you are gonna work with the Vita Olive, which is a hydroplastic mask that, a mask that we have that is very, is, is wonderful, okay? Uh, for hydration of the skin, it contains a spirulina, it's gonna be nourishing as well. For the recovery antioxidant and the radiant C, in these two protocols, you are, you are gonna work with a vitamin C mask, okay? And you are gonna see a wonderful difference. We are gonna to go to the protocol uh, right now. Okay, so this is the recovery antioxidant protocol. This is the protocol that you can make to a person that have had too much um, exposure to the sun in, in the whole summer, you know? So now the summer passed and you want to recover that skin, you want to apply antioxidants, right? To that skin. Uh, so you are going to cleanse the skin with a derma cleanser. After you cleanse the skin, you mix the derma scrub with three to five drops of lactic acid, 50%, or you could do it with a glycolic acid. You know, the, the basic protocol, the original protocol is with a lactic acid, but you could use a, as well the glycolic acid. Now, remember a thing, if you have a client with more mature skin, with more dehydration, okay, with more dry skin, you want to go with the lactic acid, okay, instead of the glycolic. I would use the glycolic when I have a, a client with a little bit more oily skin, then I would go with the glycolic. 
But if no, if more dry, more mature, I would go with a lactic acid. Okay, so uh, you are going to apply it with a fan brush in the skin. Okay, so you apply it with a fan brush and with a fan brush as well, you can activate the mixture in the skin doing little circles, okay, with a fan brush in the skin. And you are going to do that like for one minute. You activate it. And after that, you um, after that you can leave it to add for two to three minutes, okay, in the skin, the mixture of the derma scrub with the drops of the lactic acid. And then you're going to remove everything with plenty of water, okay? So after you remove everything, this is a very, uh, I would say it's a short protocol. This is not a long protocol. After you remove, you know, the, the exfoliation, then you are going to apply the vitamin C mask. So for the vitamin C mask, I am gonna give you some tips, okay? This is the vitamin C, this is the vitamin C mask. It comes like this, in a sheet like this, and inside of this sheet, you are going to find um, five pieces. You are going to find five pieces of the, of the vitamin C mask, of it patches, it's like five patches, okay? With three patches, you have enough for the whole face. Now, if you are doing the protocol and you charge your client, you know, the, the amount that we suggest, and you want to apply in the neck as well and in the decollete as well, then we recommend to you is to use the five patches. So what you are going to do is you are going to take the patches of the, of the mask and you are going to put the patches, okay, in a bowl and uh, you are going to take a spatula. You put a little bit of the dermatonic to the patches and with the spatula, you are going to mix the mask and you are going to dilute the mask Okay, and when you have that mixture, then, um, I'm sorry. And when you have that mixture, with that mixture, you are going to apply it to the, to the face and you are going to massage it. It's very important. I mean, is you have to, you need to, you must uh, massage this mixture for five minutes in the face in order for uh, the in order for the mask to release the active ingredients, okay. So uh, you remove, you do the massage, and then you are gonna you are gonna you are going to leave the mask for um, for ten minutes, for fifteen minutes, okay. There is something here. I am going to change ten, and I'm I'm gonna put fifteen instead. Because when you leave it for 15 minutes, you are gonna have more uh, result, okay? When you, leave the, when you leave the vitamin mask for more, for more time. Oh, another thing is that you could mix, um, you could mix with the, with, the, with the mask. Take the picture now. You could mix with the mask a little bit of hyaluronic acid, okay? So after you have diluted, the patches of the mask with a dermatonic, you can put a little bit of hyaluronic acid there and you mix it. And then you start doing the massage for five minutes. And then you allow it to dry for, to dry for 15 minutes. And then you are going to remove all of that with plenty of water. When you apply the vitamin C mask, when the mask is uh, drying, you are gonna see it's gonna do like a kind of a film on top of the face and the client is gonna it's going to feel like the mask is going to be tightening, tightening, okay, in the tightening in the in the face, and uh, then it, it, you are going to remove it with water. So you need to, you know, do to cleanse because the mask penetrates too much in the skin, okay. So you remove completely the mask, and then you are going to apply the dermatonic, and then you are going to apply the hydroquinone, and uh, you are going to apply the sun protection uh, dermasome. Dermasong SPF 50. Okay, so I have the Dermasong over here. I want to show you to show it to you. Okay, this is the Dermasong SPF 50. And this is a mineral sun protection. It only has zinc and titanium, uh, you know, to protect from the sun. It has another ingredients that are going to be, um, it has shea butter, it's, it's gonna be very good to um, as a moisturizer as well for the skin. Okay. Um, okay, so uh, we have here in this mineral sun protection, the zinc and the, the titanium, and we do not have any chemical filters. 
Remember the chemical filters are really bad for our body and are really bad for the environment because chemical filters damage the coral barriers in the sea. So that's why when sometimes you go to a natural park, a marine natural park, they take the, the, the sun protections that contains chemical filters. They are very poisoning for, for the sea, you know, for the environment. Okay, so this is the recovery antioxidant protocol. Remember, this is a protocol that you can do to anybody. If you just want to see a brighter skin, if you want to hydrate the skin, to nourish the skin, you know, and because you are not using the chemical pill directly in the skin, you are going to be able to do it in anybody. Remember that you have the variation. If you want to, and if you know how to, you can apply the lactic acid directly in the skin for one to two minutes instead of mixing the lactic acid with dermoscrum, okay? Okay, so this is their recovery antioxidant kit, okay? This is, um, this is the one that, just yes, give me just one minute. Oh, I have um, from, uh, um, from the company. Okay, so this is the recovery antioxidant kit and this is the one that comes with all the products you need to do the recovery antioxidant, um, the recovery antioxidant treatment, okay? I like a lot this kit because this one comes with a toner. It comes with a uh, dermatonic. So we have here the derma scrub, we have here the lactic acid, we have here the Epifactor, the Hyracutin, the Hyaluronic Acid Plus, and eight units, okay? Uh, eight units of the vitamin C mask. Okay, so let's keep going. And here we have another person with sun damage, again, and photo aging. You know, so when you have sun damage in the skin, when you have uh, photo aging, you are going to see uh, despigmentation. You are going to see premature wrinkles as well. That's another effect of the sun damage. And you, we can see it here. You know, we can see here the hyperpigmentation, the hypopigmentation and uh, the sun damage. So again, you can do the nourishing anti-aging protocol, the recovery antioxidant protocol, the radiancy protocol. If you do not have our book of, um, of master protocols, please ask your representative the master protocols. Why? When you learn, when you know how to do these protocols, it's like you have the pillars, you have the basis of uh, the base of your menu, the menu for your for your for your uh, spa business, okay? Because we have one master protocol for every skin type and condition. And then, if you want, of course, you can add other protocols. These ones are going to be based basic. And the good thing is that we have tried these protocols many times. So these protocols are really effective for acne, for rosacea for wrinkles, for dry skin, microneedles, okay, all of these protocols have been um, proven, you know, by us many times. Okay, so today, um, oh, I'm sorry, okay, so today is 28. We have actually uh, the recovery antioxidant kit. We have this kit today with a 10% discount. And um, the, the price is $401 less the 10% discount. So take advantage of this promotion we have today and tomorrow. Okay, here we can see another, okay. This is another um, example of a person, of a client. You could, you, could work with a, you could work with a lactic acid, okay. With a recovery antioxidant or with a nourishing um, anti-aging treatment, which are both with the lactic acid. So when you see this, 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 this skin type, you know, this is like a Fitzpatrick two, or it could be between two and three. And this is a person that you perfectly could apply the lactic acid with wonderful results, wonderful results in this person. You can see the skin is dry. You can see the skin is mature, okay? So you can go ahead with the lactic acid, with wonderful results in this skin type, you know, mature skin, dry skin, wrinkles. And here we have the nourishing, the nourishing anti-aging protocol. Here I brought it to you so you can, um, so you can, um, you can take it, you know, you can take a picture of it. 
and let's see what we are going to do. Okay, so we are going to cleanse the skin with the derma cleanser, and then we are going to apply the lactic acid 50% with a small fan brush, and we are going to leave it for two to three minutes in the skin. Look that in this treatment, you apply the lactic acid directly to the skin. Now, again, if you don't have that expertise with application of chemical pills, then what you can do is you mix the derma scrub with three or five drops of the lactic acid and you apply that to the skin and you, you can activate it with the tip of your fingers. You could activate it with a fan brush, okay? or you, know, you activate it for half a minute, one minute, and then you leave it for two or three minutes and then you remove everything with water, okay? So you can do any of both. You could, you could add, apply the lactic acid directly or you could mix it with a dermal scrub, okay? So if uh, remember always, if you apply any of our chemical pills directly in the skin, you need to apply the neutralizer on top of the chemical pill when the time is done. I mean, so after two or three minutes with the lactic acid applied directly to the skin, you would apply the neutralizer on top of the chemical pill, okay? And then you would remove everything with water, okay? So after removing everything with water, we are going to make a mixture of the Supreme Night Cream with Dermacy. Dermacy is, um, is a serum that we have. I was going to talk to you about that one. So where I have it here, it's Dermacy, okay? So um, I have here, and the Dermacy contains a wonderful molecule of a vitamin C, which is the 3.0 ethyl ascorbic acid, and this is a molecule that penetrates faster in the skin, deeper in the skin than any other vitamin C, and it's going to focus, it's going to target the production of melanin. That's why it's going to decrease the, uh, any hyperpigmentation, okay? So try it. Apply the Derma C for one complete month, you know, every single night, and you are going to see wonders in your skin, it's gonna brighten your skin. It contains ferulic acid as well. We know the ferulic acid as a very antioxidant acid. Uh, the ferulic acid is uh, considered the only active, the only compound that really um, achieves, you know, to revert the damage of the ultraviolet uh, rays of the sun. So with the Derma C, you are going to mix it with the Supreme Night Cream, which is a very nourishing cream with vitamin C, with apple stem cells, with um, proteins, uh, serum, okay? It contains a milk protein. And uh, when you do this mixture, you are going to apply it in the skin and you are going to massage it in the skin for six minutes. You need to do the massage very, very um, little, okay? Remember, it's not going to be a complete hand massage. Try to do it with the tips of your fingers. Very little is gonna be like a lifting massage. And at the same time, you are going to be penetrating that mixture in the skin, okay? So it's a very little strokes with your middle fingers, lifting massage in, uh, in Several times you pass in the forehead, in the cheeks, around the eyes, and you know, nose, and then in the chin, the rest in the jaw. So always try uh, work first in half of the face, and then you work in the other half of the face doing the massage. And then after that, you are going to apply the Vita Olive mask. The Vita Olive, I'm going to show it to you, is a hydroplastic mask that we have. Okay, this is the Vita Olive. This one contains spirulina, contains extras, extract of um, olive oil, and it contains rosemary. The Vita Olive is going to be very nourishing and very hydrating at the same time for the skin. And you are going to mix the whole content of this package. Okay, this is a powder, and this is a very luxury mask. And you are going to come. You are going to mix the whole content of the package with three and a half ounces of water, three and a half ounces of water, okay? Then you are going to do this mixture and you apply it to the whole face and you are going to leave it to add for 20 minutes. Another very important thing is that you can cover the eyes with the Vita Olive. You can cover the eyes. If your client is not claustrophobic, you could 
covers all the leaps, okay? So this is, um, remember the spa business is about sensations, okay? Is uh, the, the client wants to uh, experiment, you know, different, uh, it's, everything is sensitive in the spa business, sensations, okay? So we really need to do different things for our clients. So after 20 minutes, you remove the mask and then you apply the Dermatonic, the Ceramide, MPX, and the Dermason. The Ceramide is a moisturizer that we have. Um, uh, here, Johanna. Hi, I'm Skin Care Instructor, and we are watching this webinar in class. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Johanna. Let me know what's your, what's your school, where are you connecting from, and welcome to Derma Suisse. Thank you so much for having this time with your uh, students, you know, to connect with us. Uh, remember, if you have any question, you can always place it here. So Alexa Fonseca, for five minutes or 20 minutes massage. Okay, Alexa, you are going to massage the mixture of the Supreme Night Cream with the Derma C for five to six minutes, okay? Even you could take eight minutes if you really do it, you know, little, 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 four minutes in each part of the face. Then when you apply the mask, you are going to leave the mask for 20 minutes, okay? So five to eight minutes the massage, 20 minutes for the Vita Olive, which is the mask, okay? Okie dokie, so let's keep going. This is the nourishing anti-aging kit, okay? And this is uh, another kit that we have um, that it comes with the lactic acid, okay? For this master protocol that you just saw. And let's talk now a little bit now, let's talk about the hyperpigmentation underarm, underarm hyperpigmentation, okay? A lot of clients, uh, you know, complain because they have hyperpigmentation under the arms. And we have the protocol for that. This is the same protocol that you could use for between the legs, okay? It could be in the front part or it could be in the back part. We have clients that work a lot with this protocol, with this underarm protocol, with wonderful results, okay? So um, causes of underarm hyperpigmentation. We always, when a client come to us, we really need to analyze what is causing the trouble, okay? What's happening here? So um, for the hyperpigmentation underarm, usually we are going to see uh, these common causes friction, okay? If the person has um, a little bit overweight and sometimes they uh, have a friction, you know, with the arms and that part, they are going to cause, um, the friction cause a little bit of, um, of uh, inflammation there. You know, it's like a, it's, it's like a, a lesion. It, it does, you are not going to see like a big lesion, but yes, there is going to be a, a, a little lesion there. So after that, you are going to see the hyperpigmentation. Sometimes for the razor burn, you know, people that uh, remove the hair on their arm with a razor, usually they are going to have hyperpigmentation. And you have to be careful as well with the kind of razor you uh, are using, try to buy wood razors, uh, you know, that are not going to be damaging, so damaging to the skin as bad razors that, you know, if they scrape or they don't have the, um, uh, enough uh, razors, okay? So always try to buy good ones. And another cause could be the deodorant they are using, you know, they are sometimes uh, deodorants that can cause allergic reactions. There are other deodorants that are antiperspirant and those ones are really bad. And usually all the deodorants are going to be antiperspirant unless you find a natural one, okay? And what happens is that you are, you are is a kind that you are making an occlusion, you are uh, covering, you know, the way of elimination, of elimination of toxins. Remember, in the underarms, we have a part of our body for elim to eliminate toxins. That's why sometimes we have, uh, you know, bad odors or things that happen there is because that's the way for our body to eliminate toxins. When you're using deodorants, 
that are at the same time um, at the same time antiperspirant what you are doing is you are covering that and you are not allowing your body to eliminate the toxins right there so what happens is sometimes you get clogged the pores get clogged or the follicle get clogged by the the, the other end and then you are going to have a rash or you are going to have a dermatitis folliculitis you know something could happen there and that can that have happened to many people I always recommend try to find deodorants that are not antiperspirant. And another thing is do not uh, use deodorant at night, never, okay? So if you are going to use deodorant only for the day, but never at night. Uh, hormonal imbalances uh, could uh, be caused as well of hyperpigmentation on your arm. Like for example, uh, when uh, the woman is pregnant, you know, of uh, thyroids, um, troubles, uh, diabetes could cause uh, really bad um, hyperpigmentation under the arm. Uh, if there is friction by, ob by obesity, or if per the person usually um, sweat too much in that area and stays with the sweat clothing. You know, when you sweat your clothing, you need to change immediately because that sweat can uh, create a friction, over friction, you know, in that area. As well, it can cause uh, an ambience good, like with uh, heat and, uh, and and humid and humidity. So that's not going to be good. You know, sometimes a fungus could grow there or something. So these are common causes of the uh, underarm hyperpigmentation. And we have this protocol, which is uh, this one, underarm brightening protocol, is being very good. When you do it the right way, you are going to have wonderful results, okay? So I, I inverted something in this protocol. We were doing first the lactic acid only for five minutes, and we were doing the dermal scrub after the lactic acid. And I have had, you know, some clients and one of our representatives told me, Elizabeth, I'm having better results, Natalia, by the way. She told me I'm having better results when I use first the derma scrub and then I use the lactic acid for eight to 10 minutes. And so, yeah, we tried and we are giving you the protocol in this way now. So you are going to cleanse the skin, you are going to apply the derma scrub and you activate it, remember, gentle, you have to be gentle, you activate it gently for one minute and then you remove the scrub, you tap dry the skin, and then you apply the lactic acid for eight to 10 minutes. This is the maximum amount of time that you're going to apply the lactic acid, but have this in mind. Um, if you are with your client and you see the skin is getting really red and your client is telling you, hey, it is burning me, it is itching, it's, you know, it's uncomfortable, I don't uh, tolerate it. You are not going to be like, okay, no, you have to wait the eight or the 10 minutes because Elizabeth or Derma Swiss say it is eight to 10 minutes. No, you immediately, you are going to apply the neutralizer and you're going to remove everything with water, okay? You are the person that are doing the treatments. You are the person that has to really see what is happening with your client there, okay? So after you neutralize the lactic acid, then you are going to um, remove with plenty of water and you are going to apply the vitamin C. This is a treatment, remember, you can do underarm. You can do this treatment in the, um, uh, when people have diabetes, sometimes they get these really dark rings in the back of the neck, okay? So for those dark uh, hyperpigmentation, for those dark rings, you could do as well this protocol, this writing protocol is going to be very, um, uh, is going to be effective, okay? Underarm, uh, rings in the back of the neck, and as well for, um, for the intimate areas, you know, between the legs. So you are going to apply the vitamin C mask. Remember to massage the vitamin C, okay? Remember to massage the vitamin C in the, in the, in the underarm, in each armpit. You are going to massage one, uh, of the, one of the patches, okay? So you are gonna take one patch for each underarm and then you apply a little bit of dermatonic and you dilute the patch on top of the skin, massaging, 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 okay? 
massaging for five minutes and then you let it dry for 15 minutes. Remember, I put here 10, I am going to put here for 15 minutes, okay? Let it dry a little bit, a little bit more time. So let it dry for 15 minutes and then you remove that with plenty of water and you apply the BFAT, okay? So this is going to be the underarm brining protocol, the one as well you can do in the back of the neck and the one that you can do as well in the, uh, you could do as well in the, in the, between the legs, okay? So um, I have a question here, Alexa. Yes, Alexa, yes, why not? You could, you could do it in elbows and knees as well. I have clients that do it in those areas. Now, I would recommend not to apply in elbows and knees uh, 10 minutes. I would say only five minutes for elbows and knees, okay? So, and then you see, then you, then you see what happens, what happened there. Okay, so I have here, this is the kit. This is the underarm widening kit. We have it as well with a 10% today, 10% uh, discount today. This is a very good one because as you can see, it's $300 less the 10% discount. So it's gonna come down to $273, something like that. And it's very complete because this one comes with the derma cleanser, the derma toner, the derma scrub, the epifactor, the lactic acid, the neutralizer, and 10 vitamin C. Uh, 10 units of the vitamin C. And the wonderful thing is that from one vitamin C, you can do two clients. So you have here to do 20 to 25 uh, treatments, okay, of the of this protocol, whatever, if you want to do it in the face, I mean, in the underarm, or if you want to do it in between the legs or, you know, in the back of the neck. So you have uh, plenty of product to have a wonderful return of, of investment. With this, uh, with this kit. Um, ask your representative to send you the pictures of the before and, and after that we have for the, the underarm. We have, as I told you, we have wonderful results with this treatment. There are statisticians sometimes like two or three have called me, Elizabeth, I am not seeing good results with this treatment. And sometimes it is because either or the client is having um, hyperpigmentation on their arm, but it is a hormonal hyperpigmentation. When it, when it is something hormonal, diabetes, thyroid, maybe you could, you know, um, fade a little bit the, the hyperpigmentation, but you are not going to erase the hyperpigmentation. Remember that. Another thing is that uh, you need to have in mind is that leave, you need to massage the vitamin C. If you do not massage the vitamin C, no better results you are going to take, okay? And the other thing is that we are leaving the chemical peel, the lactic acid now for eight to 10 minutes. We are leaving a little bit more um, in, uh, before we were leaving it for five minutes. Now we are leaving it in the, in the body for eight to 10 minutes, you know? And the, result have been, the results have been uh, better, okay? So this is the derma scrub. I want to talk a little bit about the derma scrub. Uh, which contains that diatomaceous air. This is the marine fossil very rich in silica. Uh, remember, we are going to apply the derma scrub before the lactic acid, okay? We are going to do an exfoliation, gentle exfoliation with the derma scrub. It contains squalene, which is extracted from green olives and is going to help with the hydration of the skin. And it contains the papaya leaf extract, which is the papain, it's an enzyme. So that's why our scrub it is and enzymatic scrub, okay? And here we have the vitamin C, uh, the soluble algae mask. This mask is, um, is a, as well, is a very uh, luxurious mask, okay? This one contains a wonderful amount of vitamin C, contains as well polysaccharides. The polysaccharides are compounds that are going to help regenerate the skin. For example, the aloe vera is very rich in polysaccharides, okay? That's why it's uh, very good to regenerate and uh, to um, uh, heal the skin, okay? The vitamin C is gonna help you with that. And it contains mixed seaweed. We all know that seaweed is very antioxidant, very nourishing for the skin and comes like this, you know, these are the five patches that the mask comes uh, in, the, in the sheet, okay? So this is the vitamin C you can always use it for any debilized skin, mature skin, dry skin, 
uh, for hyperpigmentation. This is the mat that we are going to use for hyperpigmentation. Wonderful for hyperpigmentation, for underarm hyperpigmentation, for the back of the neck hyperpigmentation. Uh, when you have a person with sun damage, you can always use the vitamin C mask. And I, when I'm talking about masks, I always invite you to do this exercise. Apply a mask for seven days. Every single night before going to bed, apply a mask. You could do this with the vitamin C, for example, if you buy the package and you, with two patches, you are gonna have enough for your whole face, okay? So you do that for seven nights and you are going to see the difference in your skin. So when you see the difference in your skin, when you experiment, you know, the products, and uh, the results of the products is going to be easier for you to sell your treatments to your clients, to recommend the treatments to your clients. So this is, a, this is a, an experiment that I invite you to do, okay? Seven nights applying the vitamin C mask or seven nights applying a hydroplastic mask or seven nights applying um, a collagen fiber mask and you are going to see the differences in, uh, in your skin, in your face, okay? And this is the epifactor. You cannot miss the epifactor in your back bar and have the epifactor to sell to your clients. This is our best seller. This is a product that is regenerating, anti-aging as well. It's repairing for the skin. When you have any trouble with any of your clients and, uh, you know, if you have this trouble and... Um, any burning in the skin, you pass the time with a chemical pill, you pass too much microdermabrasion or too much microneedles, you know, any trouble you have with the skin of your client, recommend them the Epifactor to use at home for two weeks in a row. What is gonna happen is you are giving the skin like the food, you are giving the skin what the skin needs to regenerate, to repair. The Epifactor contains aloe vera, which again contains polysaccharides contains the hyaluronic acid, contains the ferulic acid, plantum extract is very nourishing for skin, ferulic acid and amino acids. So it's a, it's a complete, you know, it's a, it's a mixture of wonderful extracts and wonderful uh, compounds to restore and to regenerate your skin, okay? So this is the epifactor. Always after chemical pills, you can always apply the epifactor. The epifactor as well, you can use it in the day, in the night, you can use it for little burns, for some burns, for little ones in your skin. The epifactor is going to be anti-aging because it increases the ATP, the cellular ATP, you know, which is the energy, is the molecule that gives the energy to the cell. That's why it's very anti-aging as well, okay? And here we have the Derma C. I was talking to you before about the German Sea, this wonderful serum that we came uh, out like one and a half uh, year uh, ago, and it's been a boom. The German Sea with this very different vitamin C molecule and with hyaluronic acid and with ferulic acid. So all of these ingredients are gonna work in synergy anti-aging to diminish the blemishes. It contains the, mel uh, the melanostatin, which is another molecule that's gonna target specifically the production of melanin and it's going to diminish the production of uh, hyperpigmentation, okay? Okay, so we have here the retinol. This is another product that we are gonna come very, um, very soon. And uh, the retinol is gonna be used as well for hyperpigmentation. Okay, girls, so I remind you that we have the underarm whitening key today and tomorrow with a 10% discount, contact your representative, you know, um, I have heard many people that are always telling me, well, Elizabeth, we are in this situation. There is gonna be a big recession. We are gonna be economic troubles, you know, everywhere. And uh, my answer to that is when we are confronting, where when we are in front of troubles, this is the moment where when we have to think double, we have to create double, we have to um, work double, okay? I have never seen a person that does their work really good. Uh, a person that it's, has this attitude, you know, uh, attitude to, to work and this desire to do well the things that uh, they don't have a job, okay? So 
So we, we really need 85% of our success is the attitude. So we need to be positive and we need to think that between everybody we can make it, okay? So my, my recommendation is when you have the product, you can do the treatments, you know? When you know how to do the treatment well, you are going to have satisfaction in your customers and your customers no matter what are going to keep coming back why because we are in an industry that is not going to be down okay in in all the troubles you know and um, we have seen it now through the quarantine and the COVID-19 the industries that are always going to maintain our food and uh, the wellness beauty and wellness everybody is, is you know in some way is looking for beauty and wellness. So uh, the bottom line, help your clients the best in the best way you can. So you are gonna have satisfaction in your clients and you are gonna have clients coming back for your treatments, okay? So this is everything for today. I hope you um, have understand everything. I have a, a question here. Can you use the treatment after waxing? No, Rocio, not after waxing because when you do waxing, you are doing an exfoliation. So one day waxing, and one week later, you can do this treatment in, uh, in underarms. You have to wait uh, one week, okay? And here, Luz Galindo, can you put again the protocol to take a peek? Yeah, underarm brightening protocol. This is this one, Luz, okay? So thank you so much, everybody, for connecting with us uh, today. Uh, thank you as well, um, Johanna, to the school that was, uh, to your students as well that were connected with us. And I see you in another webinar or in another seminar. Have a wonderful rest of the week.